show quality where we use the denim pad. Definitely did pinch back a little bit. I'm glad I figured that one out before we did a bigger job, but we got something to take care of it. All right, guys, so today's video is gonna be about orange peel. What causes it, how you can get it, and how to fix it fast and easy. So I had painted this car during the week and one of my sales reps that usually does all the filling of the cabinets, loading up all the clears and stuff like that, happened to be on vacation, and they had a fill-in guy, and he actually gave me the wrong clear coat than what I'm used to using here at this shop. So when I first came, they had a speed clear, and they also had the clear that I use on a day-to-day, -day, and I had stopped using that speed clear because I wasn't really uh, liking the way that it performed. It liked to pinch back, die out, and uh, just happens to be that when that guy stocked the shell, he put the wrong clear in there. And I'll show you guys why I grabbed it, not knowing. All right, so these are the uh, two cans of clear. And you guys can see that they definitely look identical, the same color. Everything looks identical until you get up close on it. And now you can see it says 2042 speed clear. And this one here is the 2021 urethane clear that I use all the time. So me being in a production setting and me just grabbing and doing what I normally do on the day to day. I grab that out of the cabinet, not thinking to look down because I don't even stock the 2042 here at this shop anymore. I use only the 2021 because I do love that clear. So I grabbed it like I normally would, never looking at the can. And I did a couple jobs and I noticed they started to haze over and die back. And it was rainy out that day. And I thought maybe the moisture had made it die back and something made me look at the can and I realized that they had stocked it with the 2042, which is a speed clear. And that's why you will get orange peel in jobs. So some of the speed clears will lock up before they actually flow out. And if you use the wrong clear and the wrong temperature, that can also have orange peel as well as using the wrong gun and being too far away and air pressure. So there's a lot to do with orange peel and a lot of reasons why it happens but there's definitely ways to fix it before you actually get orange peel when you're spraying or using a product. That's why I always tell you guys to get a familiar clear that you like and get used to spraying it. That way you know how it acts. And that's what actually made me know that I was using the wrong clear was the way that it actually performed. I right away knew something was wrong and I started finding why I was having that problem and that led me to the can. So. That's why I tell you guys, get consistent on what you do. That way you can find out right away what the problem is. All right, so this here is the uh, quarter panel that has the little bit of dieback and pinch. And these Mustangs do have a peel, but this one has a little bit too much. So I was actually trying to show you guys the peel in a better angle. And I thought about it and I grabbed the PDR guys lights and I'm gonna show you guys the texture on this one. So that way I can show you guys that we are gonna take care of it with this process. All right, so I wanted to figure out a way that I could really show you guys what we're doing here on this one. And I knew when I did that PDR video, you guys could see the peel in the actual panel with this light on it. So you guys can see here that it pinched up and it has a little bit of uh, orange peel that I don't really like. So I wanna knock it down just a little bit. We're not gonna go crazy on it because these Mustangs do have appeal to it. But I wanna show you guys a product that I've been working on ever since I had showed you guys that denim pad. I wanted to come out with a better version in my eyes to uh, get rid of it. And a couple other things that go along with the denim pad that I didn't have at the time to show you guys. We're gonna show you guys that now. All right, so this here is the pad that I showed you guys in one of the other videos about the orange peel. And this pad works well, but there were some things about it that I didn't like, and it wasn't like the original ones that I had used back in the day. So what I did was I reached out to the company and I had them make me my own version of what I think would work better because the other company did not have the other uh, steps in it that I had used years back. So I reached out to them and now we have our own pads that we can use to get out peel quick and easy. All right, so this here is the new denim pad that I've been working on. And this one here is bigger. You guys can see here, this is a seven inch pad. That's the only one out there right now in the seven inch, cause this here is a six inch. The next thing about it is, you guys can see here, it's a thinner pad. And I went ahead and had them make that for me that way. That way you have more surface area and you don't have as much give in this because with all that give, you're not cutting down the peel as flat and as fast. So with this here new pad and the other steps that go along with it, I think we're gonna really be able to knock it out quick. And you guys see they're making them for me 
for the channel and we got the candy man on them so let me go ahead and show you these so we've got the denim black which is the normal one like you have on the uh original one i had showed you guys then we have the next step which is also a denim but it's a finer version of the uh, denim and that's going to cut down some of the actual swirl marks and get rid of that and then we have one final step pad here which is more of like a velvet this is beautiful what is that velvet and this here cuts it down even finer that way you can eliminate all the scratches and be done with the job so when we're using this one here we're going to be using a different compound we're going to be using a one step on it so instead of switching compounds we're going to go ahead and switch up pads to get the same effect so let's go ahead and do this job and show you how nice it works all right so i want to show you guys before we get started again the orange peel look at the lights and uh, hopefully you guys can see it a little bit better than last time i wanted to show you guys a better angle and i think with this here pdr light we're going to be able to see it better so see the lines go ahead and check those out and we're going to uh, go ahead now and hit it and show you how nice it works all right so this here is the polish we're going to be using today this is a chemical guys product named c4 and this is a one-step polish so being we're using three different pads we're going to stick to one polish and get it polished out right so for this here job we're going to be using the random orbital polisher and that's why i designed these pads to be thinner that way you don't have as much flex in the pad because we're gonna be using these here pads and you guys know it's a slower process with this, but it's a safer process and it doesn't have as much swirl mark. So this is a nice way of doing it with the orange peel, being it's the random orbital with the denim pad and then we'll use the one step and step it down. So I'm gonna show you guys how nice that this works. I've been using this through the week and it really knocks down the peel and uh, does a beautiful job. I've tried it out on some other stuff that came in that had some bad paintwork on it, and it really did a nice job on it. So let's go ahead and start this out. You guys seen what it looked like? We'll hit it with all three steps, and I'll show it to you guys finished up. But when you're putting it on, on your fresh pad, you guys see mine's already wet. Make sure you lube the pad up well, because this is an aggressive pad, even though this is a random orbital. Also, what I really like about using this here uh, pad is you really get the finesse in the orange peel, especially with this here random orbital. So that's why I like this one better with the thinner pad. You really have control of this. You get to really finesse it in, work it out. And you guys will see here at the end, it really does a beautiful job of duplicating the uh, factory orange peel. It has that perfect look of the factory peel in it. So all right so now we're going to go ahead and hit it with our velvet pad and that is one step finer from the white pad so you start out with your black you go to your white and then the final is the velvet and that's going to blend everything nicely in and give it a nice uniform look so let's go ahead and hit it now with step three and the nice thing is you don't have to clean the panel off when you're actually doing this you just go into each stage with a different pad and you don't have to worry about it because you're using the same polish you don't have to clean off one polish Make sure you get it all off. You can go ahead and step it out with each pad and then go ahead and final polish it at the end. So let's hit it with step three. All right, so make sure you get a fresh microfiber. You definitely want to have that. Now we'll just go ahead and wipe it down and I'll show you guys the difference that this here does. All right, guys, we're up close and look at the difference in the finish here. I'll show you on the other side of the screen, the old video, and uh, it just gives it a beautiful, phenomenal finish with that thinner pad with the random orbital. That's the way to go. I like using the random orbital with the denim pads with that thinner pad. It cuts it almost as fast as the rotary, but it gives you a lot more control for especially you guys out there that are new to this. You have a lot less chance of screwing things up with it so i thought about you guys as well as us in the collision industry we really don't have much pinch and we don't want to go crazy we just want to knock it down a little bit and this here setup now with the random orbital really does that you guys can see the difference in the finish from what we started out with so 
This here is how it does on a factory fresh paint job. And I'm gonna show you something else it'll do also for you guys at the house that may have a not so nice looking paint job or just wanna get your job to look better. All right guys, check out this here paint work. Not sure who did it and uh, why it looks like it does, but it is very, very rough. It's very hazy. And this here is an older vehicle that is uh, in the back of the shop here that may be a total. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try out a spot on this here with the pad to show you guys how nice it does on definitely blemish paint jobs. You guys can see here the haze and the uh, pimples. Looks like a lot of trash is in it and it's very, very hazy. So we're gonna hit this spot just to show you guys what it'll do on an old finish. That way you guys at the house can get your vehicles looking good too. All right, so we're gonna start out with our uh, denim. We're gonna move through all three steps of this quick and I'm gonna show you guys, we taped it off. That way you can see the section that we're doing here. And we're gonna be using the same one step polish here from Chemical Guys. All right, now we'll just go ahead and wipe it and I'll show you guys the difference on this one. This one here really, really showed how uh, good these pads work. And now this area actually looks like a nice paint job on it. So let me zoom in on it. All right, so look at right here on the paint. You guys see all those dirts, specks and everything and how tarnished and how orange peely it is. And then watch when we get in here to the center. Look at that. Paint job is like show quality where we use the denim pad and then it gets back into all this other debris here so phenomenal i'm telling you guys trust me this stuff works and it works really really good look at the reflection you can see the uh, mercedes in there now and then i'll move it to an area that's not done and now look at that you got that and then you got that nice quick and easy and safe with that random orbital so all right so whether you're a guy that put the wrong clear on it like myself or you just wanna eliminate some orange peel in your truck at the house, I'm telling you, you cannot go wrong with these pads. And now that I have them on my site, you guys will have easy access to getting them. And you'll just go down in the descriptions below and I'll have everything there for you, what we use today. And then the pans over at my website at Candyland. So I hope you guys liked it. I'm telling you, every time I use these, I get more excited on how nice they actually work. And you guys see they did a fresh clear job that pinched back a little bit. And then we took one out back that I don't know what's on it and it came out beautiful. So you can't go wrong with these and you'll see everything down below. I hope you guys like this one and we'll see you on the next one.